Hi guys, welcome to part 10 of Developing Dallas and in this episode the main thing is going to be a lot of upgrades. So finally managed to find Nick Hayden. Been very elusive for me for most of the series, been the bronze card that I just couldn't find anywhere for weeks. But we got him in. Also got him Patman, another cornerback. So we got a good cornerback core now. We got four pretty good cornerbacks, which is quite lacking for the Cowboys. I mean, they only have um, Byron as their good quarterback, uh, cornerback, to be perfectly honest. But got Ryan Williams or Dunbar here. They're very similar, but I think Williams would be just a little bit better. He's got one less speed, which I don't think makes too much difference, but he's got a lot better trucking and a bit better juke move. So I'm hoping he'll be good. But, you know, I'll give them both reps and we'll see who plays better to be perfectly honest they both just look so similar so hopefully they'll both play really well and unfortunately we have to get rid of Dre Archer which is sad to see but has to be done at this point and we're also going to get Gakkar in there which nearly gives us a full Cowboys team overall still missing that right outside linebacker but we'll get him in next episode when we move into the golds because obviously there are some gold right outside linebackers for the Cowboys so that will be the four Cowboys team in episode 11 so look out for that and uh, if you're enjoying the video so far up to this point drop a like on it let's try and hit 15 likes and I'm gonna move into the team now just so you can see what the team looks like overall I'm sure most of you will have already seen this or similar to this in the previous episodes but I'm gonna remove all the non Cowboys players Pretty sad to see Dree Archer go because he has been phenomenal. But hopefully Williams and Dunbar, you know, can step into his shoes and do just good, a, just as good a job. And we definitely need to start upgrading our line, thinking about it because the majority of them are still bronze. So we'll get a few of them in soon as well. But as you can see, that's a good cornerback core. We got four silvers and steeples. He wasn't even bad, to be perfectly honest. So. We're just going to thin out the team a little bit where we can. As you can see, the right outside linebacker there isn't actually a Cowboys player. But like I said, we'll get rid of him next episode. But besides that, four Cowboys on the defense and the offense. Special teams, that'll come along in time. But I don't think that matters too much in the whole sort of framework of the series. Because I don't tend to, uh, to punt very often. So upgrading the punt that doesn't mean too much. And also, we've got Deion Sanders there with 99 kick return. Like, cannot wait to give that a go. That looks absolutely phenomenal. Also, can't wait to get, get into the elites, to be honest. Because some of the elite players for the the Cowboys just look so good. Like, I can't wait to use that Des Bryant. I can't, I can't wait to use so many of the elite players. So, hopefully we can smash through the goals, move into the elites, and just get a lot of game time with the elite team. So... As you can see, we're, we're thinning out these uh, special teams, getting it, changing up a little bit. Hopefully, it'll make a difference, but to be honest, I don't think it'll make too much of a difference. But, you know, we'll see in games coming up whether it actually does make a lot of a difference. So on kick returns, if we manage to get any in, it could be because of this. But I'll move into the checklist now, so you can see we finished all the bronzes finally. We've pretty much finished the silvers. We've still got Jones in there, who I'll just throw in next episode. I just forgot about him this time around, to be honest, but... I'll throw them in next episode when we're putting in some golds as well. I'm also picking up them as we speak. But let me know, like I said, let me know if you've enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it. Let's try and hit 15 likes as per usual. Also, question of the day, how do you think your team has done sort of further on in the draft now? Because it depends when I upload this. The draft will be coming towards an end. Just let me know how you think your team has done. Personally with the Lions... I know we're in a rebuilding stage, with they've, which they've been in for a long time, but I think the draft overall has gone pretty well for them. I think for a lot of teams it's gone pretty well, to be honest, but Lions definitely need to strengthen their line, D-line and O-line, which they've done. And also, subscribe if you're new. But as per usual, I'll jump into a game now, so I'll see you guys there. So guys, jumping into a game here, and come up against a few people today that were just running nanos all day and to get gameplay for you that's pretty difficult because you can't get anything good going on offense well i personally can't get anything good going on offense against people who just run nanos the whole game so i didn't want to include them but i included this one because this was a good game it was well played by both sides and it was quite a tight game to be perfectly honest even though 
scoreline at the end might not suggest that. But as you can see, he's one of these guys who loves adjustments and letting the play clock just run down. And he gets a good pass there, good read, played, you know, through the ball at the perfect time. He's just about to get sacked, just about to get a hard hit, actually, was my cause to fumble. But he was coming out in this formation a lot, which was making me nervous, to be honest, because if people come out like that, they tend to run a toss quite a lot of the time. And I can't deal with the toss plays, to be honest. hate them, because I can't arrange my defence to beat them, to be like. But as you can see, he's also rolling out a lot. Um, we're keeping that locked up most of the time. I mean, I'm going to try and keep one of my linebackers in QB contain when I can. But I just don't want to give over the middle a lot of the time. And as you can see here, he gets a slant route. And nothing I can do to stop that. You knew he was going to make it. But fourth and four on quite early on in the game. He just went to the flats, and I thought he wasn't going to get the yards there, but a little burst of speed, and he managed to get in. So fair play to him. And he's, he's playing well at this point, you know, rolling out, throwing dots most of the time when he's throwing. He hasn't thrown into coverage once, which is a problem a lot of people who I play against, they do that a lot. But you can see he's coming out of formations that when people come out like this, they tend to run a toss play, and he just wasn't, which really confusing for me. Like That's something you can definitely abuse against people in this game, is if you... Like come out on a four verts formation and don't run the four verts play. People don't know what's going on because people are always ready for the four verts play, and it's usually the slot receiver that people throw to. So people tend to use that, and as you can see, I do that this game, and he uses it really well. We need to get a pick there. Unlucky not to, but he's got to the goal line and he just can't get in. You know, we see he's open there, but he's just going to run it out of six yards, and it's third and goal. And he hasn't got anything here. And I know he's not going to run it because he hasn't run, run it once this game. I mean, if he mixed up and ran it, he could have easily just cut to the right there and probably got in. Or even the left. Look at the holes on the left. But once again, nearly a pick. And he goes for it on fourth, which is baffling to me. Like, he wasted the whole first quarter on this drive. Just take the three points. You know, you've worked hard for them. But luckily, I lock everything up over the middle because I'm using one of the linemen. And we stop him, get a fumble. And that gives us enough room to, you know, get a pass in and start, you know, getting our drive together. And I'm going to try the new running back here. And unfortunately, on his first play, doesn't get through. I mean, he got he got a yard, which, you know, it's not the worst play in the world. But we're going to go QB sneak, play it safe, just get that one yard. Because he's not going to gamble on that. And we're going to try and get the running backs involved as much as we can. You know, because we upgraded them, see what they can do. If the pass is open, like I knew he would have been open over the middle there. I should have just held like a bit more patience on my part. And I would have quite easily managed to get you know, a lot of yards. But we're going to work our way here. Four verts, I always, well not always, but most of the time, I'll reroute one of my receivers as a slant route. Because people, they can't use uh, both. They get confused, they gamble on one, and I can just jump the other. As you can see, this time, he gambles on the R1 route. I'm just going to throw it over the middle. And we're going to pick up some easy yards. I mean, it was nearly in coverage, but he had, he had a step on the defender. So it's going to work out. And once again, I'm going to try and get the running back involved. But the the on my left side seems to always be open when I run. Like I'm definitely going to have to upgrade the lineman at some point to stop that. Because now they haven't got Dre Archer to carry us through. I'm going to have to. As you can see, he just gets off the block there so easily. But... We managed to get a field goal. I'm not going to take my field goal at this point. I'm not going to risk it. It's a long field goal, 54 yards. But luckily, we're going to make it if I ever actually kick the ball. But, I mean, we didn't get full power. So I was thinking, might not go through. And it gives him a good chance to get some points on the board. But we, we just make it. So I'm happy with that. And he needs to score quickly. So I know he's going to be bombing it deep. So as you can see, I'm going to use uh, the over the middle. So all he has... Is summon on the right or summon far left and he's double covered each time and we end up getting a pick so we know we can score 44 seconds in madden is ages especially with three timeouts and williams there you know fighting for yards i'm liking that and if he nearly got off that block there or that tackle and if he had he would have been gone but just gonna try and slowly get some yards in get out of bounds you know not waste a timeout if we don't need to but as you can see he managed to get a stop and we only got 10 seconds left. And I just need a few more yards to actually get into field goal zone. So we just about get in, get in range, you know. 
54, I think 54 or 55 yards again, and we just make that one. That one was really close, but we're six nil up, and we got we got ball at half. So I know I just need a field goal to get make it a two possession game, and two possession games I can handle. And we nearly got there with that. And his user in wasn't great. I mean, he was switching between, but he was just getting unlucky with some, you know, some of the routes. He was jumping a bit too early or just not reading them properly. And I was just abusing that as much as I could. As you can see, left-hand side is nearly open there. We get very lucky to bounce off that tackle, and we're gone. So, three archery yard out. We've uh, upgraded the running backs. Well, we've changed the running backs. Don't know if they're upgrades yet, but, I mean, got the first touchdown in the first game, so they're definitely not bad. And we get a nice little sack there. Love it when you get a sack in this game. And I was just running cover man because he couldn't deal with it. Like, I don't think he managed to complete one pass when I was running cover man. And if you notice that early on... He was very unlucky there as well. But if you notice that early on, just use a defence that they can't deal with. A lot of people can't deal with cover two man, especially at the rank I'm at or the player level I'm at. But he's going to quit at this point. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, drop a like on it and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next episode.